When most people think of nature, they think of serene beaches, forests, and mountains. But Mother Nature has a wild side too. We're talking about powerful earthquakes that destroyed entire cities, cyclones that changed countries, and floods that killed millions. And in today's video, we're counting down the 10 deadliest natural disasters in history ever to ravage our planet. We're starting with the Aleppo earthquake that took place way back in 1138. On October 11th of that year, the Syrian city of Aleppo was struck by a massive 7.1 magnitude quake. The shaking was so intense that it was felt from modern-day Turkey all the way to Iran. Over 230,000 people reportedly lost their lives that day, which would make this one of the top 10 deadliest quakes ever. Can you imagine the devastation of feeling the earth come alive underneath you as buildings and walls start collapsing all around? It must have been absolute chaos. The damage was so severe that it actually took Aleppo almost 800 years to fully recover its population numbers. For the number nine spot on our list, we've got a disaster that affected over a dozen countries. The absolutely devastating 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. On December 26th of that year, a monster 9.1 magnitude quake erupted under the sea off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. Can you even imagine the power contained in a quake that big underwater? Well, that energy had to go somewhere, and it sent a wall of water raging across the Indian Ocean at speeds over 500 miles per hour. Communities in Indonesia, Thailand, India, and parts of East Africa didn't stand a chance. Within 20 minutes, some places were facing 100-foot tall waves. Over 250,000 men, women, and children lost their lives that day as the tsunami wiped entire towns off the map. Two million more lost their homes and the economic damage totaled an unbelievable $10 billion. All right, coming in at number eight is the absolutely monstrous 1839 Karinga cyclone that completely demolished the Indian city of Karinga. In the early 1800s, Karinga was a thriving port town on the coast of Andhra Pradesh, bustling with commerce. Little did its residents know the nightmare that was about to strike. On November 25th, an enormous tropical cyclone roared ashore, pushing a wall of water estimated at a skyscraper high 40 feet tall. I'm talking total annihilation. Everything in the path of that storm surge was washed away. Over 300,000 men, women, and children lost their lives that day as Karinga ceased to exist. The destruction was so complete that the city was never rebuilt to its former glory. This unprecedented devastation led a British official witnessing the aftermath to coin the term we now use to describe these massive storms, cyclone. At number seven, we've got the devastating 1920 Haiyuan earthquake in China. On December 16th, Northern China was shaken to its core by a massive 7.8 magnitude quake that rattled the provinces of Haiyuan, Gansu, and Shanxi. Some reports say, it may have even been an 8.5 on the Richter scale. The violence of the shaking triggered gigantic landslides all over the region due to the loose soil makeup. We're talking slides that buried entire villages. Over 200,000 people reportedly lost their lives that day, though newer studies suggest the death toll might have been as high as 273,000. Well, over 30,000 of those deaths were directly caused by the landslides the quake kicked off. Next, we have the notorious 1970 Bola Cyclone, that slammed the tiny South Asian country Bangladesh. On November 12th, this Category 3 monster packed winds up to 115 miles per hour and pushed a wall of water up to 19 feet inland. And let me tell you, it was complete and utter destruction. With over 500,000 lives lost, it became the deadliest tropical cyclone in recorded history. If that wasn't bad enough, the region was already struggling with poverty, corruption, and unrest as East Pakistan. So when the cyclone hit without warning, literally washing hundreds of thousands of men, women and children away, it exposed just how unprepared the government was, and it caused an estimated $86 billion in damages, marking a turning point for the nation. In the aftermath, Bangladesh realized it had to completely overhaul disaster response and make the people a higher priority if anything like Bola was to survive in the future. Coming in at number five, we have the horrendous 1976 Tangshan earthquake in China. In the early morning hours of July 28th, the industrial city of Tangshan, home to over a million people, was waking up to a nightmare. Without any warning, a colossal 7.8 magnitude quake roared to life directly below the city, instantly destroying 85% of its buildings. I'm talking about complete annihilation. The shaking was so severe that tremors could be felt over 100 miles away in Beijing. When the dust settled, the official death toll was a staggering 240,000 people. But some experts say the real number could have been as high as 700,000. Worse yet, later that same day, a major aftershock of 7.1 magnitude occurred in the city of Luangxian, some 43 miles to the northeast, causing further damage and casualties. No wonder it took China 11 years just to fully clear away all the rubble and rebuild Tangshan 
to what it was before. Next, at number 4, is the earthquake that absolutely leveled the major Roman city of Antioch in 526. Located in what is now Turkey, Antioch was home to around 200,000 people and was a busy commercial hub. Little did those folks know that disaster was about to strike on one ordinary day in the form of a monstrous 7.0 quake. Without warning, the earth started shaking violently for several agonizing minutes enough to flatten Antioch. We're talking buildings crumbling, roads splitting open, and dust clouds everywhere. The death toll was absolutely catastrophic, with an estimated 300,000 lives lost. Roman Emperor Justinian rushed in aid, but it would take years to fully clear away debris and reconstruct what was once a major metropolitan center. Although it recovered, Antioch was struck again by quakes in 2023 that destroyed 3,100 structures and took 50,000 more people. Events like this prove that even the passage of centuries doesn't erase the relentless fury trapped under our feet. At number three is the catastrophic 1887 Yellow River flood in China. By the late 1880s, Decades worth of silt had built up the dikes along the Yellow River, known as the Mother River of China, lifting its elevation higher and higher above the surrounding land. So, little did people know the impending disaster this would cause. Then, one rainy season, the swollen river breached those aging walls, unleashing a literal wall of water into the countryside. Over 5,000 square miles were instantly flooded. That's an area bigger than some entire U.S. states. With homes and villages completely submerged, the death toll was a catastrophe. Estimates range from 900,000 to as many as 2 million lives lost. The flood had a lasting impact on Chinese politics and culture. It became a symbol of the weakness and incompetence of the Qing dynasty, which could not prevent or effectively respond to the disaster. At number two, we have the absolutely devastating 2010 Haiti earthquake. On January 12th, the city of Port-au-Prince was going about its day when a monstrous 7.0 magnitude quake struck just 16 miles away without warning. Buildings collapsed all around and the death toll was absolutely unreal. Over 220,000 men, women and children lost their lives in an instant as the city was completely leveled. Another 300,000 were injured. On top of that, over 1.5 million people were left homeless with almost nowhere to go. But it didn't end there. Because of a lack of sanitation amid the wreckage, a deadly cholera epidemic erupted that took another 100,000 lives and affected a further 820,000 people. Can you even imagine the horror of losing everything and everyone you know, and then having to battle a rampant disease on top of it? And finally, coming in at number one, we have the utterly disastrous 1931 Yangtze River floods in China. In the summer of that year, heavy rainfall like nothing ever seen before caused China's mighty Yangtze River to swell beyond control. Before long, a seemingly endless wall of water was pouring across central and eastern China. The scale of the flooding was almost inconceivable. It permanently altered the Yangtze's course, creating new lakes and islands in the process. But the human toll was the worst part, with over a million square miles submerged for months. Estimates say between three to four million people lost their lives, making this the single deadliest natural disaster in history. The Chinese government was completely unequipped to handle an event of this magnitude, and relief efforts were slow and disorganized. It exposed how disasters could destabilize an entire nation. Even today, after immense infrastructure upgrades, China still grapples with how to protect its people from the wrath of floods in a warming climate. So let us know in the comments which of these deadliest natural disasters terrified you the most. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon for instant notifications so that you never miss a video from Factastic Trivia.